everybody, and welcome back to part three of Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube, a fantastic launch title, if I do say so myself. So like I said in part two, uh, there is a 3DS update to this game that came out in 2018. It's got a whole bunch of new bells and whistles, like co-op and platinum portrait ghosts. And so some people might be asking, why didn't you do a Let's Play of that version? You know, it's 2021, why are you playing the original version and not the quote-unquote better superior version on the 3DS? Uh, for one thing, I don't think the 3DS version is the superior version. Um, when I think of Luigi's Mansion, I have to play, I have to think of the GameCube version. Because for all intents and purposes, Luigi's Mansion is essentially a tech demo to showcase what the Nintendo GameCube is capable of. It also showcases the gigantic leap in technology that Nintendo went to when they go from the N64 to this era. Like, the particle effects, the lighting and shadows, the animation of the characters! Luigi is so beautifully animated in this game that, like, I just think this is a brilliant, beautiful time capsule of where Nintendo was 20 years ago that when I think of Luigi's Mansion, I think of this version undisputably. The 3DS version tries to clean it up, and it shouldn't, because this is a time capsule. Ah, the beautiful melody will not even give me the time of day. What must I do to win her? Passion, yes, that's it. I will show her I burn for her. My unbridled passion will scorch her soul. Burn and scorch, eh? I'm gonna remember that, I'm gonna remember that. This is Shivers, the wandering butler. He's 72 years old. He wanders the house endlessly, searching for his master's will. He hopes he's included in it. I, uh, I dropped a really important thing into the toilet. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. Hey, you're right. No point crying over spilt milk. I suppose I'll just flush that old worry away. Yep, I'll just let it swirl on down to the depths and let happiness refill my life. <laughs> Oh god, toilet humor in Nintendo. I, no, Luigi, don't pick up that key! That thing is probably covered in piss and shit, and you don't want to grab it, Luigi! It's gonna be so- Oh, Luigi, no! Luigi, no! I know you're a plumber, but, I mean, god, no. Wash your hands, Luigi, wash your hands- I- Oh. You cannot wash your hands in Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> that should be a Twitter account. That should be a Twitter account, like, uh... I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, that Twitter account where it tells you whether you can pet a dog in a video game. There should be a Twitter account for whether you can wash your hands in a video game. And Luigi's Mansion would fail. Luigi's Mansion would fail. God damn it. I know he's a plumber. I know he's used to putting his hands into dirty pipes and stuff. But I mean, come on. At least, allegedly, he's a plumber. I've never seen the Mario Brothers doing any actual plumbing. Except for, like, the opening of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, where they're taking a plunger to a toilet. Or a bathtub, I should say. That's the only time I've ever seen it! <laughs> but, not in the games. Anywho, this is Madame Clairvoya. Destiny chooses our paths. I can't interact with her right now. I can summon her by shining light into her crystal ball, but I can't really interact with her until I find some very specific key items in Act 3. So we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna come back to this, okay? Instead, right now, we're in the mirror room, and the fun gimmick with this room is that the ghosts appear in the reflection, but they don't appear where you are, so... They do leave, like, a, a little dust trail. They leave a little smoke cloud that, you know, when they arrive. And they're still in the mirror, so you can still see them, but, you know. You just gotta pay attention to your spacing, pay attention to your surroundings, pay attention to where you are in the room. And again, fantastic GameCube tech demo showing that they can do mirrored reflections like this. And the transparency of the ghosts and stuff. Like, ah, oh, this is a beautiful launch title. For the GameCube. It still looks good in my opinion. This still looks like it would be really, really good if you put this on the Switch or whatever. And I say this knowing Luigi's Mansion 3 exists and it's the most beautiful Mario game I've ever seen. I don't think there's ever been a more better animated Mario game than Luigi's Mansion 3. Good lord, Luigi's Mansion 3 is amazing! <laughs> Amazing animation! Jesus, next level games. You guys are the kings. Oh, and queens. Oh, 
Okay, well, we just picked something up. Hey now, Luigi! What, you, what have you found there? Let's take a look at that! Oh, ah, it's... A fire element medal! Now you can use the fire element! Yes, sir, with that you can catch fire elemental ghosts! Hmm? What's a fire elemental ghost, you ask? Why, they show up wherever you see fire, my boy! They're ghosts of fire itself, if you will! <laughs> Alright, Professor Egad, this is getting a little batshit crazy, okay? I'm just saying, fire elemental ghosts now? I mean, I, I think you're making this up. I think you're making this up. Along with your weird, goofy, fake language. Yabo yabo! Suka suka! <laughs> I love his gibberish when he's talking in cutscenes. Suka suka! Suka suka is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> yabo yabo! Suka suka! But either way, yeah, we now have a fire element medal, which means that we can shoot fire out of our Poltergust 3000 as long as we suck up a fire spirit. So there's one in the room with us. And whoop, I got it. There's now a fire meter next to the Game Boy Horror, and I can shoot fire all over the place with the L button. Because uh, the vacuum can suck and it can also blow. I could always blow this whole entire time with the L button, but now that I have an elemental spirit inside of it, I can shoot fire. I got a flamethrower. I can burn the house down, burn the mansion to smithereens. <laughs> Although I'll probably kill Mario if I do that, so I probably shouldn't burn the house down. But still, I could do it if I wanted to. I could burn it all. Burn the house down, Luigi. Burn them all. <laughs> Either way, we just mentioned burning and scorching. Well, we just saw a ghost who was talking about that. A ghost with a candelabra, some candlesticks. Ah, fire, fire, fire! Run away, run away! Oh, you didn't really want to heat up for Melody, huh? Oh, you were all talk, eh, Shivers? Either way, Shivers is running away from the fire that he could probably drop. <laughs> just drop the candlestick, Shivers. That's all you have to do is just drop the candlestick and you'll be fine. But I'm not going to debate the logic of this game, whatever. Uh, I didn't follow him the whole way through. I forgot that he makes a right, and I thought I lost him. I was a little bit confused. I was like, where did he go? He does eventually go into the laundry room, and then he goes into the room down below. So, there he is. It's all good. But he's going to sit down, and when he sits down... He burns his ass! And when he burns his ass, his heart is exposed, and then we can suck him up! <laughs> My voice is a little sore, sorry. But, uh, you mind, butler. You're not going to be in any will today. You're in my will. <laughs> Luigi's still humping those chests. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He just loves humping things, this Luigi. He just loves it. But you still got to hunt down those booze because they're still in every room. You found me, peekaboo! And I win. So Luigi's Mansion has a few puzzle solving elements to it. You know, there's some things that they don't outright tell you that you have to figure out for yourself. So for example, you know, I remember I was missing a few boos and I didn't know where to find them, but I did notice that there were rooms that I couldn't get into. Rooms that were on the map, but there was no actual way inside. So for example, to the right of me is a room, but there's no door leading to it. Not in the hallway, not in the foyer, and not in this room that I'm in right now. How the hell do I get into that space of this mansion? Well, then I start using my Game Boy Horror to look at my surroundings. Man, at least we won't have a shortage of toilet paper. Damn coronavirus. <laughs> and then I examine the mouse hole. And it creates this portal that sucks me into the room, and there you go. You can actually get into this room, which contains a boo. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a brain scratcher when I first played this. A bit of a brain scratcher when I first played this 20 years ago, when I would have been 13 years old. A dumb idiot kid who is still in junior high, you know. 
But I was amused by Luigi humping stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. And here we have elemental ghosts themselves. Uh, these ghosts have the ice element. So you have to use the flamethrower in order to shatter that ice. Otherwise, you can't get to their heart and you can't suck them up. So, uh, they're always pretty situational. And if they're in a room, generally that means the element they're weak to is probably going to be in that room as well. So, uh, you don't have to worry about that too much. This is a Mario game, even still. This is still a game for children, and they're very considerate with elemental weaknesses and not getting you stuck in a situation you can't possibly get out of, you know. It's Nintendo. They always got some great quality assurance. Most of the time. Knock on wood. <laughs> I'm sure you're all bringing up some bad Nintendo game right now in the comments, but, you know, they're generally pretty good, okay? Pretty good track record. Oh, and this room has a lot of jewels. We got our, a sapphire, we got ourselves a ruby, we got ourselves an emerald! And I like in the Game Boy Horror, there's a Luigi sprite that's from Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo. Specifically, what Luigi looks like in Super Mario Bros. 1. So, uh, that's fun, that's a fun callback! Friggin' bombs, friggin' bombs. It's my own self, Gumboo! Are you related to Gumby? I mean, you're not claymation, so probably not, but, uh, you know. Either way, either way. I remember for the longest time when I was a kid, I couldn't find all 50 boos. I didn't know where they were. And when I finally discovered this room, it was like, wow. I felt like a genius for discovering that mouse hole and that portal and just being like, wow, I can't believe I solved it. If you look closely, you can tell it's really just a photograph. Gotta say, Luigi, that's a very elaborate photograph. Did someone win a championship for this, or what? Speaking of championships, I love the animations in the Mario Tennis games. Like, when you win the trophy in the Mario Tennis game, oh, some of the best animations in Mario. You know, that isn't from Luigi's Mansion 3, the best animated video game ever made. Good lord, Luigi's Mansion 3. I love Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, some people... I've noticed a few people in the comments saying that, like, they only really like the first one and that the sequels didn't grab them in the same way. I would say that about Dark Moon. I'm not huge on Dark Moon, but Luigi's Mansion 3, I love Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Nintendo Switch is fantastic. I think that game's as good, if not better, than the original Luigi's Mansion. I would dare say that. So, uh, I am a big proponent of Luigi's Mansion 3. That game is incredible incredible if you haven't grabbed it for your nintendo switch do it because that game's amazing yo get down i'm boogie my 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 my, my boogie shoes just boogie with you yeah i am so rich i'm gonna have so much cash oh my god <laughs> But again, just, I love the animation of Luigi when he's, like, walking around. Not just in, like, dark rooms, but even just the light rooms where he's bouncing around and his nose bounces so much. And, like, the cord of the poltergust is bouncing around so much. It's like, I don't know, when I see the 3DS models on the 3DS version of Luigi's Mansion, he walks like he's got a stick up his ass. And I know that he's supposed to be scared stiff, but it's, a, like, it's too stiff of an animation. It's nowhere near as expressive as the GameCube version. And I love these character models compared to the 3DS version, because the 3DS version is trying to be more like modern Mario models, you know? They're trying to be more like what Mario 3D World looks like, what Mario Galaxy looks like. And Luigi's Mansion was this bridge, this gap, from the N64 to the GameCube, and Luigi, he doesn't look like this in any other Mario game, but he looks so expressive and fun, and I love the expression of the original GameCube Luigi's Mansion. It is so animated and so lively. And, uh, you know, I just, I can't help but gush about this original game on its original platform.
with my favorite track, Green Hill Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Such an iconic piece of music from the Sega Genesis. <laughs> iconic. My name is Melody. People call me the spectral beauty of the Ivory Keys. What a stirring performance! I haven't been so charmed by a piece for ages! You must have a delicate ear for music! Uh, no, I just pushed that and it somehow made music. I don't know why it did that. By the way, what image do you think the piece's composer had in mind while writing it? So this one is kind of expecting that you've played other Mario games because that is the water level theme from the original Super Mario Brothers. And if you've never heard that before, if for some reason you've never played Mario Brothers on the NES, or Mario 35 on the Switch, or the countless versions, whether it's Mario All-Stars, or... There wasn't one on the Game Boy Advance, I don't assume, but uh, either way. It's the original Mario. If you don't know the music to the original Mario, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Well, oh yeah, that's Melody. She tries to attack you with her musical notes afterwards, but you suck up the notes, and then her heart is exposed, and then that's it for her. That's it for her. Uh, she was Melody Pianissima. I don't know if she has any relation to Il Piantissimo from... Mario Sunshine, but she is the beautiful pianist. She's 26 years old. Despite playing moving melodies, she has a surly disposition. Oddly enough, she loves video games. Wherefore am I, Boomio? I don't know, but I'm gonna get Bouliet too. Mark my words. Uh, here's a mechanic people hate. The boos can leave the room that they were originally in, and then they can go to other rooms in the mansion and you have to chase after them in order to suck them up. And it's not- I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as people exaggerate it to be. And I think it only starts getting a tad bit annoying when we get to Act 4. But we are so far away from Act 4, we're only in Act 2 right now. I mean, we're not gonna be worrying about that for a while, but uh... And that's, you know, some of the boos. Not all of them. Not all of them. But, uh, you know. I love Luigi's Mansion. It's a great game. See you in part four.